Prominent City College campus in Chinatown is slated to open next spring, and we serve nearly 10,000 primary immigrant students a year. Why did it take so long to get to this project complete, and what did you do to help advance it? Well, what I tried to do to advance it was uh, trying to uh, build a uh, consensus uh, to try and look at an alternative. Because uh, there was not the alternative uh, that uh, was uh, being proposed, uh, then the original project got caught up into litigation. And it then caused cost overruns upon cost overruns. Uh, because of these uh, litigation, finally a compromise proposal was in fact established. Now with the City College, instead of one building, there's two buildings. The capacity of City College in Chinatown has now increased. An auditorium now is available, not only for City College, but for the time community. On that. that is a tremendous benefit uh, for the community. So having two buildings we have and having uh, one capacity, I think, is a greater uh, thing uh, for all of us here in Chinatown. So one of the uh, things you've done uh, for coming late is we've tried to be very, very respectful of a 45 second uh, response for all the candidates and so we appreciate you honoring that. Um, I want to continue. Thanks, the thanks for the time. I want to continue the discussion about City College because I think it was one of these issues that was very difficult for the community because we have a number of folks saying they supported it uh, when in reality maybe they weren't being very helpful. So I, I want to ask David Chu, you know, what did you do to advance the project and would you agree that uh, uh, Leland Yee's position was one of trying to advance it? My memory of what happened a number of years ago is actually quite different. Uh, there are a lot of folks in this room, and I want to thank you for standing up for building a campus that was decades in the making. I was proud to stand with you. I know that Phil Ting and I, uh, and I believe uh, Mayor Lee and others who are here, we stood together to support this project and to move to this compromise uh, that Dr. Yee is talking about. Although my recollection, uh, Dr. Yee, was that you didn't support it at that time. And, uh, and obviously I'm glad that we got to where we are today, uh, but from my perspective, I think it is important for us to work with the community, to work with all stakeholders, to make sure that we have generations of future San Franciscans, particularly recent immigrants, who will be educated and brought into our workforce with a brand new Chinatown City College campus. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Well, first, uh, my apologies for arriving late. I was uh, feeding my children and putting them to sleep, so my, again, I'm sorry. Um, but again, I, I think that uh, Supervisor and Chu have similar recollections where we had a significant amount of community support that had been fighting for City College for over 30 years, and unfortunately we uh, didn't have some of the leadership at the state level that we would have liked to have, including with Senator Yee. So I think... Again, I'm very happy that we're able to have a campus. I'm so proud every time I drive by or walk by that campus next door that we will finally have a City College campus. And I know that there will be many of us there when the doors open celebrating. You know, I think it's so important to remember how much work it took, but it's also important to remember who actually was there from the beginning and stood by you from the beginning. All right, thank you.